it uh, concluded a really tremendously uh, successful G7 and would like to provide you with an update. And you know the gentleman up, uh, the legendary Larry Kudlow and the legendary John Bolton. We had a, a good meeting both on defense and environment and, frankly, on tariffs. I will say it was not contentious. What was strong was the language that this cannot go on. But the relationships are very good, whether it be President Macron or, or with Justin. Uh, we had Justin did a really good job. Uh, I think the relationships were outstanding. But because of the fact that the United States leaders of the past didn't do a good job on trade, and again, I'm not blaming countries, I'm blaming our people that represented our past. Uh, it's uh, got to change. It's going to change. I mean, it's not a question of, I hope it changes. It's going to change 100 percent. And tariffs are going to come way down because we people cannot continue to do that. We're like the piggy bank that everybody's robbing, and that ends. Our farmers are essentially, whether it's through a barrier, non-monetary barrier, or whether it's through very high tariffs that make it impossible. And this is all over the world. This isn't just G7. I mean, we have India, where some of the tariffs are 100 percent. 100 percent. And we charge nothing. You can't do that. And so we are talking to many countries. We're talking to all countries. And it's going to stop. Or we'll stop trading with them. And that's a very profitable answer if we have to do it. Yes, sir. So I don't blame them. I blame our leaders. In fact, I congratulate the leaders of other countries for so crazily being able to make these trade deals that were so good for their country and so bad for the United States. But those days are over. So two things can happen on NAFTA. We'll uh, either leave it the way it is as a threesome deal with Canada, with the United States and Mexico, and change it very substantially. We're talking about very big changes. Or we're going to make a deal directly with Canada, directly with Mexico. Both of those things could happen. If a deal isn't made, that would be a very bad thing for Canada, and it would be a very bad thing for Mexico. For the United States, frankly, it would be a good thing. But I'm not looking to do that. I'm not looking to play that game. So we're either going to have NAFTA in a better negotiated form, or we're going to have two deals. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.